my name is Nicole LeClaire, and today we're going to build a log and axe project. All the pieces that we need for this project, you can find right here. First off, I'm going to take this piece of pipe and fit it up with an end cap, which was previously um, plasma cut out. You can cut it with a plasma torch or you can cut it with an oxy fuel torch, whichever you have available. And we're just going to fit it on the end. And now we tack it together. Now I'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So once we have our two end caps tacked on, we can begin to make some straight lines on our log. And we're just gonna use the straight edge for that with a piece of soapstone. Just like that. And you're gonna continue to do this all the way around the piece. By welding over these lines, it should give us a pretty good imitation of what some bark would look like on the outside of our log. So here we have our drawn lines on the piece that we are going to now trace by welding over them. What you might want to consider doing is instead of uh, welding one line adjacent to the other, in order to distribute the heat evenly and reduce distortion is to weld on one side and then turn it over and weld on the other side. And that should really help uh, decrease distortion. So now that our lines are drawn, I can just trace my lines. Once you're satisfied with all of the passes around the outside, we're going to stand it on its end and we're going to weld uh, all around that end cap. And then we're going to weld some circles uh, in the middle of it to also look like a cut log. Keep in mind that when you're welding around the circumference of the outside of your log, you might not be able to do it in one pass, and that's okay. Make as many stops and starts as you need, perhaps two to three. Once I've welded up the piece, I'm just going to take some time and clean off all my welds. So now we have our log, next we need an axe to cut that log. And what we're going to use for that is a little piece of round stock and just a small piece of plate. that we have to do is affix the axe to the log. So you can choose where you would like it to be. Typically about here is, uh, is common, but it's up to you and your imagination where you would like to see it. But... And there it is. 
All right, so I hope you guys had fun watching along and good luck making it yourself. Happy welding.